And when you have leftover nails and you don't know what to do, you can put the different ones on your nails, but the thumbs are always the ones that we never have the size for. So today we're gonna have a hack of how to cut together and patch on your thumbs so that you have a size to use for your thumbs and use the other leftovers for the rest of your fingers. As you can see, I have all my nails in here and all my different ones that I use. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. See here in this set, I have, let's see, two pinkies. So that's good, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I do have 10 for 10 nails, but we'll be able to do this. It's gonna be the thumbs that's gonna give me the trouble because we have to figure out how to get the thumbs. So what we're gonna have to do is take this and the top of it, put it on the side. So let's see if we can do this. Peel off your piece and move it all the way to the one side. All the way over to the one side. All the way over to the one side. Now we're gonna trim off that excess. And this is what we're gonna use to make a patch. See, and this is gonna go here. This will go in this side here, but we're gonna have to cut off some of it so let's let's cut let's cut it in half let's lift this one up and a little patch here a little patch there cover it over press it down so you just about see it can you see that you just about see it And then, look at, see, you just about can see it. And then at the end, we're gonna put gel over it and seal it all up and then you won't see it at all. It'll be perfect. Okay, same thing for the thumb, the other thumb. We're gonna put this on this side here, closest to here. We're gonna trim this. We're gonna to use to fill in over here, but I have to cut it. I have to cut it and make it a little fill in. I'm gonna lift this up because we're gonna put it underneath. Get it in there. Look, fill it in. Now look at that, see? And you just about can see where we patch it. Now, if somebody was really close and they can really look at your nail and they're really gonna see, but once we put the gel polish over it, it's just gonna fill in all the other nooks and crannies. I'm gonna press it down and press it down and press it down. But we're gonna fill in all the nooks and crannies and you won't even notice. And let's do all the other nails and then we'll be ready to go. Now that we got all 10 nails done, we're gonna file off all that little excess. File off that excess. And I think we used them up pretty good. Oh, I forgot one. One more, like, wait, 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 wait. One more, one more, one more. Let's put a spark, let's see, what do we have? Let's get, how about this one here? We'll put this one on. This one looks like it. How did I miss that? Okay, one more. Let's get all those edges off. Oh yeah, that looks good. There we go. So Dashing Diva doesn't need any kind of top coat on your nails at all. But because we did a patch, and look at that, it blends right in. You just about can see it. Yeah. 
and there you go. And we just patch together for the thumbs because the thumbs are always the one that you run out of. And I did use the, the clear gel polish over the top just to seal in where we put those patches. And since I did it on the ones, I did them on all 10 just to seal them in, but they're perfect. These will be on, they'll last at least 10 days. I like to take them off after five days because then I have something, just want to change it up. But look at those, another perfect nails. Let me know in the comments below what color nails that you have and have you ever patched any together? Or do you just use the mix and match? Let me know, have a great day.